I don't know, I've never seen anything on a map that looks like that. So, I asked Josh if we could go just a little further. Good morning. It's day two in Joshua Tree. Mm -hmm. We had a really great day yesterday. Um, <sighs> last night we went to one of our favorite places, Pappy and Harriet's. Whenever Josh and I have been here in the past, we aren't here on a weekend. We're mostly weekday travelers. So last night we were able to check out a different bar that's always been closed whenever we've been here called Red Dog Saloon. I liked it. Did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was cool. Uh, there was some people dancing. Uh, there was a band playing. Um, yeah, it was just a it was just a good good time, fun time. Yeah. So right now we're doing a quick coffee run. Um, our friend uh, Alina works remotely, so she's working today, and Jake's gonna hang back with her, and we're gonna drop off some coffee and then go explore a little bit. Maybe we're gonna drive into the park. It is really hot though, so we don't know if we're gonna get out and do like a hike. We might get out and walk around a little bit. But yeah, it's it's 9:02 a.m. and it's already 98 degrees outside. Yeah. So yeah. it is. Whew. I mean, we like the heat and we'll bring water and stuff, but yeah, we definitely can't do like a five mile hike or anything. Yeah. We could do like a, a mile. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the plan. And then we might, we're going to venture into Palm Springs later, right? Yeah, we're going to go into Palm Springs later, see what's going on over there. Yeah, full day. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Get into Joshua Tree. Finally, we just moved. We had been sitting here for a little while, and the entrance fee is thirty dollars per vehicle. Yeah. And we've been here before a couple times. I don't think we want to pay it, so we're gonna drive around somewhere else. So we had just exited the Joshua Tree National Park. And I saw on the map that we were really close to this place called the Invisible House. Um, I do real estate in Los Angeles as well, and I had seen this place pop up because it's just like, it's really awesome. Oh gosh, big bump. Um, and it was listed for like 18 million, but I really hope we can get close to it and I can show you guys because it's really neat. So that's it. Can't really see it but it's an all glass square house. It's really cool. I'll put a link to an actual video of the house in the caption. All right, what'd you think of the place? Uh, it was cool. Very reflective. <laughs> Okay, 
so we drove by that thing that I saw on the map. It's something, it's, they're salt channels mm -hmm. um, that have this really crazy colored water in it, but most of the channels were empty, but there was one that had this insane turquoise. So we're gonna stop on the way back, but I just saw this weird looking brown mountain over here. And I was like, well, do you wanna keep going and see what that is? Even though we are kind of ready to, to, to make our way back, but it looks neat. And I looked it up and it's a crater. It feels like we're in space, honestly. We can't tell if we're seeing water off in the distance or it's if a it's mirage. a mirage. I think it's totally a mirage. Um, yeah, this feels otherworldly, for sure. Yeah, so. Yeah. They might have a, so we just read about yeah. Amboy Crater. And it's, and it is an actual, it's the youngest volcano in the United States, is that right? I don't know, it said a young volcano. A young volcano, but like actual lava flowed out of here and spread 24 square miles, and I'm assuming that's what all this black stuff is. Like, that it's just yeah, burnt. Yeah, lava rock. Crazy. So crazy. See, aren't you glad we kept going? Aren't you glad? It's a little bit of a hike, and we're definitely not hiking. Yeah, that's not I'm possible. worried this asphalt is gonna just melt my tires off. Whoa. Yikes, it's hot. Whew. What's weird to me though, Josh? Uh, how quiet. that far but it's just so hot that it's just like <laughs> it taking so, my breath away. It's so hot. This is so sick though. Here why don't you yell out again? It's so embarrassing. Uh, just do it. Can I do this? Yeah. Hello! Smile. What do you think of the crater? I think it's so cool. <laughs> I was like, what's that dirt mound over there? And Josh was like, I don't know, it just like, looks like a mound of dirt. And then I looked on Google Maps and it's a crater, which I very like intelligently thought meant that it had been it was like an area that had been hit by an asteroid is that a thing mm -hmm. asteroid meteor, right? meteor something meteor. like that and also it feels like more in Mar on mars so and then yeah it's a volcano yeah that's why all this black rock is here because of the lava <laughs> Airbnb now, uh, have some lunch, get cleaned up, shower, 
head into Palm Springs. And uh, when, and if anybody is curious as well, distance wise, um, we're staying like right in the heart of Joshua Tree, like right down from Joshua Tree Coffee and Joshua Tree Saloon. It's about an hour from there. So if you're thinking about coming out here, it'll take about an hour. Yeah, I think if you've, if you've done Joshua Tree National Park before a couple times, like this was definitely worth a drive to me. I mean, it was a lot of nothingness for a long time, yeah. but, but the crater was really cool. The salt things were cool. Um, and I don't know, I guess it depends on how much you like to drive. We like, I, I like being in the car. So. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely a good alternative to Joshua Tree National Park if you've done the national park several times and want to see something a little different, this is definitely different. <laughs> yeah. First stop tonight is called the Reef. Josh and I went here. When did we go? Year and a half Last ago. Year? Last year. Yeah. And we really liked it, so we wanted to bring Jake and Alina back. And it has such cool Palm Springs tiki vibes. I love it. I'm excited. I hope they have room for us. It's gonna be great.
What'd you think of Tropicali? It was fun. It felt like old school classic Palm Springs. And the food was delicious. Delicious looking burgers. <laughs> and the corn. 